If you dial it back to 1985, one of the top songs was Voices Carry by Amy Mann and her band Till Tuesday. It reminded us to hush hush and keep it down now because of course, voices do carry. But there's one industry where voices definitely need to carry. Our Jax Tranquita visited a stage that has been crowned with perfect acoustic sound. Great artists, including Jennifer Hudson and Lyle Lovett, have already performed on the stage here in Steinmetz Hall. And it's this very special hall that provides the awe-inspiring backdrop for stars like these to shine. Located in Orlando, Florida, specifically inside the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts, Steinmetz Hall is awash in cherry wood, the color scheme evoking images of musical instruments. Importantly, once you know about the way you can hear here, the visible beauty is even more elevated. I took to the stage with Damien Doria, the acoustician for Steinmetz Hall. Now, what is an acoustician? That's a word I've never heard before. We sort of tie together the idea of what sounds good to most people into something architectural that you know, creates that environment. And also it has this N1 rating that I'm hearing about. That means it is acoustically perfect. Acoustically perfect is a challenge because we always like to, as acousticians ask, perfect for what? The thing that makes this hall really exceptional is that it changes around to do a lot of different things very well. Right now it's in a concert hall mode, so it has an acoustic that is appropriate for a range of orchestral works. And it changes over into a, what we would call a proscenium mode, which is more like a typical theater. Mm -hmm. And in proscenium mode, the hall has a range that's good for ballet or opera, and also handles amplified performances very well. Two towers 53 feet high flank the stage. The 62-foot acoustical shell weighs an estimated 1 million pounds and moves on steel railroad tracks. It's a transformer theater. Talk to me about how many modes this space can be. There may be unlimited number of changes you can make. <laughs> There's a huge team of architects that Barton Myers led on the design side, and Barton has a long history of making really beautiful spaces. Point out some of those design elements to me that are here for the sound. Humans here laterally, because uh, we have ears on both sides of our head. Because of that, we have a lot of surfaces in the room that are these ledges that are on the side walls, and that lateral energy really helps to bring the clarity and intelligibility to, to spoken word and to music. We asked if we could change things up a bit for our chat with Kathy Ramsberger. In terms of the innovation and the quality of the hall, that was all based on we want it to be perfect. Every decision in here was, does it feel right for everyone? We have copper in this room. And the reason why we chose copper is because it's the people's metal. The arts do something so remarkable. But when people leave this venue, they're touching and they're smiling and there's a different type of human interaction. It's, it's just joy. This space doesn't only inspire professional musicians of the world. OK, indulge me for a sec. Mm. <laughs> Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Oh, good. <laughs> that felt really good. 